Good morning, everybody. This is Psalm 73, 1 to 3. Truly, God is good to Israel, to such as are pure of heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Asaph, the psalmist, is reflecting on an experience he has passed through. He says he very nearly lost his way altogether. Why? He had been looking around at things and pondering them. He observed that it is often the wicked who do very well in this world. They have strength, they keep away from trouble, they have riches in abundance. It says they have more than heart could wish. They live in ease. They are proud and have power, and they don't mind using it with violence sometimes to oppress others to maintain their position. They don't suffer. They boastfully assert that God does not know, that there is no accountability. So he concluded in verse 13, surely, I have cleansed my heart in vain. He nearly concluded that it is better to rebel against God, to live for yourself and trample on others when necessary for your own personal gain than to walk humbly with God in the way of righteousness. He says in verse 16, when I thought how to understand this, it was too painful for me. But, thank God, he then went into the Lord's presence and everything became clear. He says in verse 17, I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. He understood that this life is but a vapor, then there is eternity. He understood their end was everlasting loss. But he also knew his end, by God's grace, was everlasting bliss. What a contrast. Of course, he could have saved himself a good deal of pain by going earlier into God's sanctuary, or even better, by dwelling there. But I, for one, thank God that he went through the experience and was able to articulate it. Because it helps us so much to get things in proportion as we look around and to remember the simple lesson of frequently going into God's sanctuary, not just to rejoice that our, our names are, are written in heaven and to enjoy the presence of God, but to pray for others, even for those who spitefully use or persecute us or our brethren. Their need is urgent and great indeed. Amen. Have a great day.